so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi, and I'm just out exploring today. Wow, what beautiful land this is. Hey, come on! Whoa, look at all this tall grass. I wonder what's on the other side. <laughs> Check it out! Yeah! Today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, and this looks like a secret go-kart track. Yeah! Oh, I sure do love go-karts! Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? Yeah! They're so fast! Grabbing that steering wheel, round the corners, this is gonna be fun! <laughs> I was just acting like I was driving a go-kart. Oh, speaking of go-karts, yeah, this thing is awesome. Hey, what color go-kart is this? Yeah, the main color of this go-kart is the color red. Yeah, I do like the color red. Hey, look at the number up here. Every go-kart has to have a number, so then you know when you cross the finish line, if you won. <laughs> and this number right here, what number is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this number is five. Wow, whoa, this is so cool. And do you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, they have some dirt and mud on them. Someone must have been racing this go-kart. Yeah, and actually, these tires, yeah, they're not normal tires, like on a car or a truck, how it has tread. These are nice and flat. Yeah, better for speed. <laughs> oh, hey, look. This is the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, there's so many parts. One way to turn it on is this. You pull it up, and then it gets the motor turning, and it turns it on. Provides the power so you can go fast! <laughs> Whoa! Back here, look at this! This is a chain, and this is how the engine provides all the power to the rear wheels and tires! Whoa! I am so excited to ride this! Oh! Speaking of riding it, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sit! This is the seat. Oh, it sure does look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo! And this is the steering wheel. Do you see when I turn the wheel, it turns the wheels and tires? Whoa! That looks fun. Oh, and last but not least, right up here. This is where you put your feet. Push down right here for the brake. And on the other side, this is for the gas. Speaking of gas, yeah, the engine needs gas. And right here, this is where you fill it up. Okay, it looks like we explored the whole go-kart, so it must be time to drive and race the go-kart. Oh geez, I am so excited, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second, I need all my safety gear. Three, two, one. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, my safety gear. Yeah, I have my helmet on, my goggles, my gloves, and that means I am ready to race. Yeah, you have to wear a helmet, so then it keeps your head nice and safe. You have to wear gloves, so then, you can hold on to the steering wheel nice and tight. And you wear, yeah, the goggles. So then dirt and mud doesn't flip in your face. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the go-kart. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Make sure everything's turned on. And remember what I said earlier? We need to give it a pull.
go-karts are awesome! Oh, hey, look! Another go-kart! And this go-kart is the color black. And its number is five, eight, nine, whoa! Hey, who are you? Kylie! Kylie? Well, it looks like you're my competition. Are you ready to race? Yes! Whoa! Looks like Kylie is ready. Oh, hey, another competitor! Oh, what's your name? Lincoln! Lincoln? Whoa, are you ready to race? Yeah! Who do you think's gonna win? Me! Whoa! That sounds like some tough competition. All right, looks like Lincoln is ready, looks like Kylie is ready, and me, Blippi, is ready to race. All right, let's start those engines. Fun out! Yeah, that was so much fun driving this go kart and racing this go kart. Oh, geez, this red go kart. Yeah, the red number five go kart did me so good today. We had a safe day riding go karts together. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, I should probably take another lap. <laughs> See you soon, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. <laughs> My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars base. But it's all 
simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go. Hey. Hi. Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi, Daniel. I'm Mika. Hi. <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS. OK, so that stands for International Space mm -hmm. Station. Station. You got ISS. it. ISS. Cool. Oh, yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Ah, oh, the truss. OK, yeah. and what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you got to uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're going to use in our simulator. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're gonna use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense, T-handle wrench, oh, okay. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L-handle wrench. Oh, L-handle wrench works out. Easy to remember. Oh, yeah. Oop. This way. There you go. You got it. OK. Now, we're just going to use this little one today. But okay. we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's huh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, okay? okay? So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that would be very, bad? Yes, okay. it'd be very bad. Okay, so this okay. is super important. Yes. Okay. So what's gonna happen is that when I put you in the chair, okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're gonna replace it. Wow, cool, okay, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm going to give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. OK, okay? let's test it out. So you're going to grab onto that. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. Okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're going to turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now, when you do that, it's going to come out and it's going to fall down. OK, so good So make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, OK? okay. Then I'm going to give you the new one. You're gonna give me the old one. Okay. Okay. And then when you put the new one in, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're gonna use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. Okay, I'm gonna rock you back. It's gonna feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, okay. okay. So, rocking you back. Okay. All right. Feel okay? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. Okay, starting in three, two, one. Now it's really loud, Ooh, okay? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now I'm gonna push you underneath. Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There, so got you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember, no feet. Whoop. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Cool. 
and it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yes, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah, so we're gonna replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna give you some tools, remember? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm gonna give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're gonna take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. Okay. Whoop, turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. Right there, push it in. Push Whoop. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished our job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay. You're floating away from the station. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> Wow, I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you you can now that you've done your job, okay? <laughs> but bringing you back down to Earth. Three, Ready? two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh, yeah. Hello, Earth. Okay. And there you wow. go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> come on. So come on over this way. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, we have a really amazing simulator. Wow! Okay. Yeah. This is gonna show you how you're gonna fly to Mars, how you're gonna land on Mars, and then how you're gonna drive on Mars. <laughs> That's okay. amazing! And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real, but it's gonna make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, okay? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always okay. have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's gonna fly the thing. That's uh, you. Yes, okay. okay. And then we have a pilot who's gonna drive it. In this oh. case, it's a robot, so you're okay. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool. Right? Do you wanna go inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so Bye. head on down the stairs. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. It's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're gonna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. Okay. So if you look up above, you probably notice something very similar. Oh, yeah. It looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We wanna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. That's okay. Good. So I'm gonna lock you in. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do, put your arms up, and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. Woo! And then the restraints are gonna come down. <laughs> Okay. Go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's gonna happen is when I close this door, we're gonna start the simulator and you're gonna fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome, okay. So I'm gonna close the door now. All Bye. Right. See you soon. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. It really feels like I'm getting ready to go to Mars. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, here I go.
Welcome back. That was amazing. Whoa, did you see that? You did wow. a great job. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? okay. So first things first, the restraints. We're gonna raise those up, okay. There you go. Whoa. Good job. Okay. You can come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful though. You can use the handrail. Yeah. That was wild. Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. So is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 in uh -huh. the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars base that we actually have here? Oh, yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <gasps> wow. So welcome to our Mars Base 1 Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're going to go to Mars like we plan to do so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. Oh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light and water and dirt or soil packed with nutrients, and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff, and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. Now, other things that we've grown I want to show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also want to test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays. That helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah, and you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base? Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll You're see you around. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything.
thing on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Oh, I gotta go. That's my ride. Bye. Whoa, and look at where we're at. Whoa, what a cool store. Hey, wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah, you know how I like to dance? Whoa, yeah. Wow, this place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios, and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Oh, hey. Hello. Who are you? My name is Emily. Ooh. Who are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome. Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm going to be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So okay. go ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are going to learn our dance from Emily. Whoa! Check it out! There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Look at this! This? Yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello! Hey! <laughs> yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Woo! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first. I need to take off my shoes. Oh, oh, oh so stinky. <laughs> okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide so we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Whoa, oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> now we need to warm up, she said. Yeah. That means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow. Or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, hey Emily! Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing! <laughs> sure! Awesome! Would you like to see it first? Yeah! Okay, she'll show me the dance first and then I'll learn it! Whoa, that looks really hard, but I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here, you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. 
Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yes. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out, out. Jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot. Together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> Now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go onto your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, clap. But it has to be at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Wow. That was it. I just learned that full dance and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. One, two, three, four, six. Shake your hips. Great, fine. Step touch. Bounce it. Good job and good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa, this style of dancing is called jazz. It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Whoa! Do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah! She's doing ballet. <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out. That is so cool, and this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. Whoa! I have been having so much fun dancing today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? <laughs> yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to. Get out your energy and exercise. 
Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah! Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! You feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. We got it. Double time. Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah, that is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. <laughs> I love bulldozers. Whoa. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> Okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is, yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex, good job. Okay, so the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands, yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. Rah. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat. Yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves, but now Remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep, bulldozer dance. Good job. <laughs> Plow the dirt. Wow, that was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It was an animal, and it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? Wow. 
Wow. Wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo. All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah! 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 Oh, I am so tired. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow! <laughs> I sure do love to dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing arts studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm going to go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what's behind me. Whoa, this is a snowmobile, and this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today, you and I are going to learn about snowmobiles. Yeah! Hey, I forgot to ask you. What colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah! I see the color red, black, white, and... Hey! Look down here! There's some silver! <laughs> hey! Come back here! Wow, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown and what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow, <laughs> but it's so cold. This snowmobile is so powerful! Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah! The engine! Whoa! Check that out! Looks like we have... Oh! This looks like maybe the engine oil! Whoa! That's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh. And look at this. This 
is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa, and look down here. This snowmobile has two skis, one right here and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa, looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake, and we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power, all in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow, this is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Wow. That helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go. Look at what we found! Yeah, we found a river! Whoa! This has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish! Whoa! I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold! <laughs> Check out this yellow vehicle. Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out. Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. 
yeah, the Jeep also has tracks. It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. <laughs> snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye! Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at! Whoa, today, I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. OK, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when you enter kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now I can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy. Chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Alright! Check it out! This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah! Whoa! These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow, Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this. Some yummy vegetables. Hey, do you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. <laughs> look at these. Yeah, some green beans. I sure do love vegetables. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa, I am so excited. This is going to be tasty. I am looking at the recipe of what we're going to be making today. Looks like we're going to be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, I 
This is gonna be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're gonna be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Oh, a small one. A medium-sized one. Another medium-sized one. And a big one! Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh! Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see. Is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this! It's a rolling pin! <laughs> oh, so cute! This is a small rolling pin. Whoa! And this is a big rolling pin. Whoa, they're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because we can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, Probably right in here. Oh, yeah. Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow. Look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream. Probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh. Some cheese. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream. Okay, put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. Uh, looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Uh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure. I hey. Hi, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna to wanna to do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. And there we go. And perfect. Great job, Lippy. I 
Thank you. All right, next we're gonna wanna crack an egg. Okay. Let's see, so at Young Chef's Academy, we crack an egg using the table, not the edge of the counter, so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess. Okay. <laughs> you wanna crack hard, whoop, and use your thumbs to break open the egg, just like that. Perfect. You'll wanna put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Luffy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So this looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, I'll just use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right, in the same bowl? Yeah, oh, so sorry, in a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices. Which okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. There we go. This one? Mm hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow, salt is so yummy. Here we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right, next we're gonna wanna put our egg into this mixing bowl, the clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay, here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh! <laughs> All right. And we're gonna wanna use a little bit of water. Just gonna water like this. In with the egg. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa. Did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're gonna put 
the green beans, we're gonna use two different hands. We're gonna have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not gonna touch the egg with this hand. We're gonna put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay, take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay, wow, look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the green beans into the panko, toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good. <laughs> that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you wanna put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are gonna be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. Go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. <laughs> Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right. Go. Awesome. Now we're going to want to do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to want to get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready. And we're going to use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, Buffy. <laughs> Next, we're going to want our half teaspoon. Okay. A little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right. And we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. All right. Okay. Let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrist. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half, and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay, yes, I'll try it. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here you 
Here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay. Put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> And a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Okay. Remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow. Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out. Oh, my gosh. Right, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Ooh, so good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of foods. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> Good job cooking! <laughs> Ooh, <yee -haw. laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum! It was so tasty! Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa, and look at it. It's a giant castle. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, we are at Medieval Times. That was a really long time ago, like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know back in medieval times, people didn't drive in cars? Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today you and I get to go in the Orlando castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah. A stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Nay! 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 <laughs> so silly. 
Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at it! This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament! Yeah! And look at this! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this? This is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a body brush, so it's for the body of the horse. Whoa! And look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky! <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh, ooh, ee. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can ooh, be kind of heavy and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo! <laughs> we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight. So they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay, first, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look, this is a really beautiful horse. Hello, his name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> first, let's brush Humo's fur, his hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur, so silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, 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 all the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah, and now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> OK, we're about to go. But I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse. And he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're going to give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello. Good job, Humo. Woo! <laughs> that tickles. Woo! <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on! Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight, but today you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa! That was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. 
And now it's time to unite Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knights Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knights gear. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knights Lance. Whoa, and this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm, but what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie, hello. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go. Hey. Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? Okay, I'm ready to Knight's Challenge! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh! I only got one ring! That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time! Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. I think I can do it. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey! <laughs> that was so much fun. And now, it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah. We completed the first night's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second night's challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah. It's called the flag toss. It's when me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay, ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye bye I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go. Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it. We did all three of the Knight's challenges. And now I get to be Knight Blippi. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. That was so awesome. Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Flippy. Oh, hey, Sir David. There's still two more challenges left. Oh, two more challenges, but we already completed three. I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the knight's code. Whoa, do you know what the knight's code is? Me neither. 
Sir David, what's the knight's code? A knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means, hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm, that means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy, we can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's gonna be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Ooh. I think I'm all ready to go, come on. and start the knighting ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, W. Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knights of the realm. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi! Good job! <laughs> Well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye! Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh... <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! Whoa! And this is really fun rock climbing, but it's a little tricky. <laughs> That was so much fun! Hey, let's do some awesome exercising! Let's do jumping jacks! Don't forget to stretch! Oh, <laughs> exercising is so much fun! And always remember, after you exercise, to stay hydrated! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! It's a water bottle! Whoa! This is really important to always have a water bottle after you exercise. <sighs> I'm feeling refreshed already. You know, it's also good to always eat fruits and vegetables and other healthy snacks after you exercise so you can keep your energy to keep on playing. Whoa, I think you and I should play some more. Look at these cool blocks. Whoa, there are so many colors, red, green, Blue, <laughs> yeah! Whoa, that was so much fun. Well, I think it's about time for you and I to eat some healthy snacks. And I know just the place that will have fun and exciting ways to eat fruits and vegetables. How about you and I make some tasty smoothies today? <laughs> yeah, would you like to come with me? Aw, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I'll see you there. We're here today at Raw Smoothie Co. in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hmm. I sure wish there was someone here to help us get a healthy snack. Welcome to Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> hey, it's a person. I bet they can help us find a tasty treat. <laughs> Hello, my name's Blippi. My name is Gian. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, we've been looking for a really healthy snack. You think you can help us? I think I can. Oh, well, we've been doing a lot of dancing and exercising. Hmm. What do you think would be the best healthy snack? Hmm, I would say a smoothie bowl. 
Whoa, a smoothie bowl? <laughs> yeah, that sounds delicious. Um, but what's a smoothie bowl? A smoothie bowl is an all organic combination of fruits, vegetables, nutrients, vitamins, and all things healthy. Whoa, that sounds perfect. And we like to try new things, especially if they're healthy. Hey, you know what healthy is, right? Healthy is something that's really good for your body and your muscles. <laughs> yeah, and helps you grow up big and strong. <laughs> yeah, let's try that smoothie bowl. You know what, Blippi? Come on back. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I am so excited to make a smoothie bowl! Hey, Gian! Hey, Blippi! Well, what kind of smoothie bowl are we gonna make? We're gonna make an acai bowl today. An acai, acai. Close, it's acai. Whoa, acai. <laughs> That's pretty tricky. <laughs> Sounds really healthy and tasty, though. It is. It's absolutely amazing for you. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Step one, we gotta put on gloves. Okay. We gotta make sure to put on the gloves. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> Great. Next, we gotta break up our acai packet. That Whoa. should be good. <laughs> That's a really cool hammer. <laughs> now we gotta put it in our smoothie canister. Whoa. This will be so tasty when it's all blended up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look, it's the color purple. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Gian, so what do we do next? Well, we gotta put more ingredients in there. Next is banana. Whoa, I love bananas. <laughs> this is gonna make it extra yummy. All right, we're gonna make it really tasty with some agave. Whoa, agave. Have you heard of agave before? Hmm, me neither. Well, what's that? All right, agave is a really healthy sweetener. It's not like sugar. It's much better for you to come from plants. Ooh, great. Okay, so we got bananas, and we got acai, and we got agave. What's next? Well, we got to finish it off with some almond milk. Ooh, okay, I love almonds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So where do we go next? Go over here to our ice machine. Grab a little bit of ice. Okay. And then we have to blend. Okay, let's go to the blender. You ready, Blippi? I'm all ready. This is gonna be so much fun blending it. And you know what the best thing to do while we pass the time and wait for it to finish getting blended? Dance party! <laughs> yeah! so cool! <laughs> yep. Let's keep going. Now we have to actually build the acai bowl. Whoa, and look at all these really tasty ingredients. There's all kinds of really cool things here. Yeah, we have the acai packet, and we have some spinach. Oh, <laughs> silly gummy. And, yeah, do you know what this is? Mmm, crunchy granola. Whoa! Hey, Gion, what are these white little flakes? Those are coconut flakes. Oh, coconuts? Ooh, I love coconuts. These will be really good too. And uh, this is, hmm, what about this? That's healthy chocolate. It's called cacao. Cacao. Whoa, we'll put some of that in too. And what about all these little seeds? Those little buddies are chia seeds and flax seeds. Whoa, I love seeds. <laughs> hey, whoa. I bet these seeds will be really tasty if you're a bird, but they're also really tasty if you want to stay nice and healthy. Oh, and then I know what these are. Look, a strawberry mm. <laughs> and a banana. Whoa. We should definitely put these in. Okay. All right. Are you ready to build a bowl? I'm all ready. <laughs> all right, we go back to our acai. Okay. First step, let's go ahead and put some granola in there. Next, I gotta grab my spatula over here, and we're gonna go ahead and put the acai in the bowl with the granola. Whoa, it was really hard and frozen, but once we blended it up, look, it looks like a smooth kind of paste. Oh, 
It almost looks like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's so tasty. <laughs> Once we get our acai in the bowl, gonna flatten it out, smooth it out, make it look really nice. At Raw Smoothie Co, we're extra healthy, so we put greens in everything. Whoa, what kind of greens are those? Here we have organic spinach. Mmm, spinach, mmm. Spinach makes you really strong. <laughs> All right. Now, we're gonna put some coconut flakes on top. Whoa, coconut flakes. <laughs> Remember those from before? Yeah, really tasty stuff. Now, the best part. We gotta put our fruit on top. <laughs> yeah, I love fruit. So what fruits are we gonna put on it? I think we're gonna go with strawberry and banana today. Perfect, okay. All right, so get a scoop of our strawberry. We're gonna put that in here. Oh, that bowl not only looks healthy and delicious, but really, really colorful. <laughs> All right, next step is we gotta put our banana, and for that, we're gonna have to cut it. Okay. Make sure before you use ever a knife, you wanna make sure our grown-ups using the knife, or you ask permission. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional blippy, so I think I got this. Oh, look at it. He peeled off the banana, and now he's cutting it up into slices. Whoa, and it'll fit perfectly in the acai bowl. I'm gonna chop it up nice and small. Now we're gonna put it in our acai bowl. Let's get our acai bowl close. Next step, we gotta put our healthy chocolate, cacao. Whoa, look at all that chocolate. <laughs> can I put a little extra chocolate on? You absolutely can. Here, let me go ahead and do the next scoop. Okay, here we go. Let's scoop up some chocolate. Whoa, it's raining chocolate. Yummy. <laughs> well, that was really good. Last step, Whippy, and then you can almost eat it is seeds, you know Whoa, it. Look at all the seeds. Whoa, there's so many seeds. Here we go. It's gonna rain seeds. Whoa, that was so much fun. Is that it? This is it, Blippi, there you go. Whoa, look at this. It's so delicious and colorful. We have the granola and our blended acai. And all our delicious toppings, <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to eat this delicious smoothie bowl. Hey, Gian, this is a smoothie bowl because we use a spoon to eat it and it's in a bowl, but what if I wanted to put this in a cup and drink it through a straw? Well, we can make a smoothie. Oh, a smoothie? I would love to eat a smoothie. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, mm, this looks really tasty. But All right. Think you could teach us how to make a smoothie? Yeah, and actually at Raw Smoothie Co, we'll make a green smoothie, so it's extra healthy. Whoa! I can't wait to make a green smoothie. But first, I want a little bite. So, what's the first step to make a healthy smoothie? First, let's grab our smoothie canister. And so, what are we gonna put inside? Well, let's start with the easiest ingredients to blend. Okay. So, let's start off with our juice. I love juice, especially fruit juice. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put healthy greens in our smoothie. Ooh, I love spinach and healthy greens. Okay. Okay, so what next? I'm gonna let you take care of the next part. Okay, I think we'll, I know what we're gonna do next. We'll put in some fruit. That's right. So go ahead and put in some banana. Okay, here we go. Got some banana. And hmm, put some of this fruit in. Do you know what fruit this is? Yeah, this is a tasty mango. Okay, here we go. And this is one of my favorites. The last fruit we need is some pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Let's put some seeds and then ice it. So just put some seeds in there? Yeah, why don't you throw some seeds in there, Blippi? Okay. Rain and seeds. Okay, let's go on to the next step. All right, let's put some ice in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And into the blender. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do with it? Now we have to blend it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. 
<laughs> Are you ready to try your smoothie, Blippi? I am so ready and excited. <laughs> Let's try it. Here we go. This looks so tasty. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the smoothie bowl, but we ate that in a bowl with a spoon. But this one, <laughs> this smoothie, ooh, thanks, Gian, has a straw. Okay, put that in there. Hmm. We'll get the little paper off. Oh, can you help me, Gian? Absolutely. Ooh, I am so excited to taste this smoothie. Okay, here we go. This smoothie is so tasty! And it's really healthy too. I'm gonna have another sip. I'll see you soon. Hey! <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning how to make smoothies at Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> yeah! They are so tasty <sighs> and healthy because they're organic. Ooh. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Look at it! It says chef's table! Food! <laughs> I bet we're gonna eat some yummy foods! <laughs> Whoa! And look at that! It's a picture of a tongue! Bah, bah. <laughs> so silly! Why would there be a picture of a tongue? Hmm. Oh! Because our tongue uh, helps us to taste! <laughs> it helps us to taste! Because our tongue has taste buds! Yeah, and that tells our brain if something is sweet mm, <laughs> or sour. Mm, mm. <laughs> Whoa. Taste test. I bet we're gonna taste all kinds of new foods. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go see what we're gonna try. Come on. Whoa, look, we're here at the chef's table. Ooh. And look at all these little containers. Yeah, I bet there's food for us to taste in each one of them. <laughs> Let's start right here. Whoa, look at it. It's a grapefruit. Mmm. <laughs> I bet this grapefruit is really tasty. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, that grapefruit tastes really good. Hmm, it tastes kind of bitter. Yeah, not really super sweet, but it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes kind of bitter. Ooh, <laughs> so yummy. Okay, gotta figure out what's in this next container. Let's see. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Yeah, I bet you know what food this is. It's a yummy pretzel. <laughs> Let's take a bite. This pretzel is really tasty. Yeah, it's really salty. You see, it's so rough and bumpy because of all the little, little crystals of salt. <laughs> yeah, and that salt tastes really good on my taste buds. <laughs> bye bye pretzel. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it. This. It's a little triangle. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> this triangle is from a watermelon. I can't wait to taste this one. Mmm, this watermelon is really sweet. <laughs> I love foods that are sweet because they make me so happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have some more sweet watermelon later. Ooh, okay, we're almost to the end. I'm so excited for this next food. Ooh, this one's a really small one. This is a lime. It's the color green. Let's give it a try. Mmm, ooh, <laughs> whoa. This has a really, really, really cool flavor. It's Sour. This lime is so sour. Ooh, it makes my face and body do all kinds of silly shapes. Ooh. 
I'm gonna taste it one more time. Woo! <laughs> I really like that sour lime. Woo! I feel so awake. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're on the last food. Let's see what's inside. Whoa! It's a pepper. Ooh! And it's green. There's an orange pepper and a red pepper. I think I'm gonna try the orange pepper because it's my favorite color. Okay, here we go. We'll just take a teeny bite. <laughs> Woo, that pepper is really spicy. Woo, there's like a dance party in my mouth. Woo, it's so spicy. I think I need to eat some water. Is there any wa water? We gotta find some water. Ooh. We got the water. Oh, better. I like spicy food, but sometimes you need a little water after you eat it because it makes your mouth woo, so energized. Well, this was so much fun. I hope we can taste some more foods together soon. <laughs> Whoa, I had such a fun day with you today. We learned about so many different things, like moving your body is healthy exercise. And it's important to fill your body with really healthy foods and snacks. Mm. <laughs> it's also really fun that we learned how to make smoothies and we taste with our tongue. <laughs> So silly. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ooh, I almost forgot. Always keep yourself hydrated. <sighs> Hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal? Bird is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then, let's grab the snacks, and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good, welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you, what are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers, oh. and these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello flamingos. Hey, wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa. That is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? 
Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk. And if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell. And you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before. And you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute. And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. 
Whoa! Check out Cisco! Wow! Whoa, so majestic! Wow! Hey, Cisco! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow, and Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Wow, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. Whoa, she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs, <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle, but these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert, yeah. Whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, hello penguin. Hey, did you see that? That was a cute penguin. Whoa, hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah. I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job, all right. See you again. Bye-bye.
Let's make learning fun. Blippi, blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you.